The fall colors in Austin slowly started to appear a few weeks ago. Now, as November comes to a close, large sections of tree canopies seem to have changed overnight. This late season pop was not anticipated because of the summer drought. Yeah, you know, uh, it's been kind of kind of surprising and nice to see these colors uh, this week just starting to come on. Jonathan Motzinger with the Texas A&M Forest Service said the drought certainly dried out a lot of trees, but an early fall that was warmer and recent rains apparently only postponed what Mother Nature would do. So some of the ones that we're seeing right now, um, we've got some red buds, um, some Schumard oak with that bright red, pecans, some of them are starting to, to turn yellow and then you get kind of a bronze with, with bald cypress. Uh, and it kind of depends on, on the species, which one is gonna hold onto their leaves a little bit longer. On the town lake hike and bike trail, the change in scenery is a welcome sight. It's nice to have the cool weather and the changes in the colors. Beautiful. Today is amazing and yes, and there's so many different varieties. A successful search for fall colors this year apparently involves one key thing, a location that's close to water. Sky Fox drone provides a big view of that. The tree line along Ladybird Lake looks like a patchwork quilt, an additional splash of color to the Austin skyline. But getting away from the water line, well, the trees are more brown and green. You know, it makes sense that trees that are closer to water would, would be the ones that made it through the drought the best, were the healthiest, and were able to retain their leaves during, the, during those summer months whenever it was, was hot. Some hot spots to see Austin fall colors include Mayfield Park and Preserve, Mount Bonnell, the Colorado River Preserve, Shoal Creek Greenbelt, and Peace Park. There's a chance a lot of trees will continue their colorful transformation and just may compete with early December Christmas lights. I think maybe we can push for a couple weeks of good color. Some stuff is still just turning. Some of it's really hitting its peak right now. Um, with the, the cold that we're getting um, today after that, that warm day yesterday and, and starting to get some cooler weather again, uh, that might push them a little bit further forward and, and hopefully get the rest of these trees um, really moving.